Hello, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. This is an icy ball from the early 1900s made by Crosley. They are a form of absorption refrigeration. When these were originally used, a small burner was placed under this side and used eight ounces of kerosene. It took about 90 minutes for it to use the kerosene up. What that would do is inside, there's water and ammonia, very volatile form of ammonia in there. The ammonia would boil away and come over to this side. This side would be placed in a bath of water so the ammonia would condense over here. During that process, the pressure inside would build up to 250 to 300 pounds per square inch. So, you have this hot ball now, then it would be flipped, and then this side would be placed in a cool bath. That would cause the pressure to drop inside. The ammonia would start to evaporate and come over here, causing this side to get freezing cold. When it's working optimally, this will ice over. That's where they came up with the name Icy Ball. When these were originally designed, they also came with a cabinet. So this part would stick inside of a little insulated box that was your refrigerator. It had a little compartment here to make ice for ice cubes. And it would last eight, 10 hours. It'd keep stuff cold for a really long time. Then they would go out, put kerosene under, do it all over again. Some people had two or three of them, so they would always have cold. But I decided to test this out with a large 37 inch parabolic mirror. I got the focal point under there and determining the equivalent of 8 ounces of kerosene kind of tough so I only focused the parabolic mirror on here for 20 minutes. The pressure inside of here definitely builds up so you don't know what it is. There's no pressure valve. There's probably ways that you could modify it to see but it's more of an antique really so if you have one of these don't run out toss it in a campfire and see what happens because you might boil yourself up there's also water in there so once the ammonia boils away if you keep going you're generating steam and you know how that can turn out so with our test i focused the parabolic mirror on this side for 20 minutes this side was in the cool bath flipped them around put this side in the cool bath and this actually dropped down to 57 degrees fahrenheit so we had about a 25 degree temperature drop and it stayed cold for roughly one hour, hour and 20 minutes. I didn't have it in a freezer, I just had it sitting outside in the sun, but it actually worked like it was supposed to. I could smell a little bit of ammonia, so there might be a leak or something. So I'm probably not gonna use this again for testing. No ammonia smell now, because there's no pressure in there. This is more of an antique that we have to add to our collection. This form of refrigeration is very similar to what recreational vehicles, RV trailers, what they use. If they have a refrigerator that runs off of both propane and electricity, then it is a form of absorption refrigeration. RV refrigerators will run off of a Fresnel lens. I will be showing you that in a future video. This is our vintage Crosley Icy Ball. One of the only videos of seeing one operate with a large parabolic mirror. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. And if you have one of these, be careful because they're not, you know, unless you know what you're doing, you could really hurt yourself. Ugh.